Okay, everybody, in this next section of video, in the final section, I'm going to be showing you how to end the game if the code says that the cat has less than zero health or equal to zero health. So let's talk about this code first. Okay, when the game starts, we want to have a forever that says if the health is less than or equal to zero, then we need to stop all the code because in that case the game would be over. In order to do this, we're going to be using what's known as an operator block to code this. And operator blocks are, are great for when we want a, a value or a variable in our game to be added. Equal to, less than, greater than, um, all those types of variables that you might see. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start with the basic um, block that says when start game. So if we go over to the events tab, when start game, which is located right here, bring that out, and then you'll head over to the control section and grab the forever loop and snap it right to the bottom of when I receive start game. So the next thing we want to do is build our health that is less than or equal to zero statement. And there's going to be three parts to this, okay? Two are going to be health blocks, and the other one is going to be an or block. Now the or block is going to be found under the operators tab, and you can just bring this out, and we're going to build it first. After you bring those out, the uh, orange health that was created when we made the health variable in an earlier section, you're going to find those in the variables tab on the left hand side. So if we grab the um, health, so once you get the or block out here, we're going to want to grab the less than and let that snap in place and then we want to grab the equal to and also snap that in place now the orange health that we wanted to put in place here is going to be under variables and here's the health that we created at an earlier time you, what you want to do is you just want to drag two of these and drop them off right into those windows so that it looks like that. We also need to change this 50 to a value of 0 for each of these two windows. So that is what that block should look like. So the next thing you want to do is go to the control tab and grab an if then block and snap it to the inside of your forever loop. Now you can take your block that we just created, which is your operator block, and drop it right into the um, if then, so that it looks just like what you see here. So now the next thing you want it to do is say game over for two seconds uh, if this occurs. So you want to go to looks and you want to say and snap it right there. But you don't want it to say hello. You want to change that to game over so that it looks like this. And so if that should occur, you want to go over to the control tab and find the one that says stop all and snap that directly below say game over for two seconds so at this point in time you can actually go and test play your game uh, you should not be able to pass by the wizard without losing health and if you keep trying to get by him uh, you should run out of health and the game should stop and you would lose the only way to win is to go around the big rectangle that we drew in an earlier step and um, avoid the wizard and reach the donut.
So let's do that right now. Let's click the green flag. Brings you back to the start screen. I'm going to click the space bar. And I'm going to head down and make contact with my wizard. You notice my cat flashed and my health dropped by one. I'll do that again and yet again. Notice it says game over and two seconds later it will stop the script and my game will end. So hopefully this is what you see. If not, backtrack and check your, your code. And I hope you had fun and learned something at the same time. And I'll see you next time.